Hello everybody, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Today I'm playing Sparky in a classical laser vomit loadout. It's kind of a no-brainer for this and I'll show you why. So Sparky is a medium mech, 55 tons. It can have jump jets and therefore I'm taking three of them. And it has two energy hard points in the, the left and right torso, so one in each, and a four in the arms, so two in each. And what you want to do is you want to combine large pulse lasers with medium lasers because they have an almost equal range and an almost equal cooldown and you take two large pulse lasers four medium lasers and suddenly you have a firepower of 42 that you can just shoot together that's just that simple so laser vomit usually works like that take large pulses add mediums and you're fine and interestingly uh, sparky can have six energy weapons so this is this is kind of kind of much and uh, you need some cooldown for that uh, or cooling for that and therefore six external double heat sinks XL engine 300 it's a very nice engine you should actually own that as, a, as an inner sphere pilot you should own an XL 300 honestly I'm doing so many builds with that so if you want to buy an XL engine go for the 300 if you want to play mediums and heavies so I'm mainly using them in, in those smacks and uh, yeah that makes the mag pretty cool 1.22 it's not that good but it's decent it's it's okay -ish. the modules are a rated deprivation module for obvious reasons i want to avoid missiles i have an advanced seismic sensor to know what's going on around me when i'm standing still and i've got the medium laser range and the large pulse laser cooldown now why did i take this because i said before that they have this kind of a similar range and cooldown but if you take a look at that the large pulse has a cooldown of 3.25 while the medium has a three second cooldown when i add the the large pulse laser cooldown module it will be uh, taken down to almost three or around three seconds so that those will be aligned together and i bumped up the range of my mediums so that they will have instead of a 270 meter range uh, an about 300 meter range and that is according to those 365 so i'm trying to get the mediums on the optimal range of the large pulse so i try to align them so that they have the same characteristics and i can fire them together that's why the large pulse laser cooldown and the medium laser range module the other modules the consumables are an improved uav and the cool shot just to keep that mech cool and that's basically the build i wish you all a lot of fun with the two games that are coming i definitely had this time and now it's time to Hit the battlefield. All right, first game, we are playing good old Sparky. Sparky is a very nice hero. I like that one because it is uh, fast. It runs 95 kph and it is very fast for a medium. And it has jump jets and it has kind of high mounts with a large pulse laser. And those are the important ones. It got a lot of firepower when you combine the medium laser. It's not the best in heat management. If I fire them all together, I'm at 32 and actually it is. Never mind, it's K. I can sustain it, I think, four times. And at that time, I should be out of the fight anyway. So let's get in, sh fire some large pulses and mediums combined, and then get out again. So obviously, I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Maybe uh, because I, when I test my max, I'm going to Tourmaline Desert. Just to see the extreme condition there. And uh, how the mech performs there. When I'm testing a build, I'm uh, yeah usually going to a testing ground run, and uh, again, Terminal Desert is my map to go there. Anyway, we want to get the Legards here, the Fallen Behind Max. Hopefully, they are not out at the point. Can we get them? That's the question. Uh, I like to play aggressive, you know that, and uh, sometimes or most of the times it just pays off. So let's toggle on arm lock, shoot him, shoot him once more, and then that's fine. Open him up from behind and we are doing the same with the Hellbringer there. Which is of course a Cataphract, but uh, they kind of look the same from behind. Oh yeah, we took out the side toss. Oh, that's a great start. I'm so happy about that. And my team is pushing. It's working out pretty fine. We already lost the guy, but again, that Cataphract with that removed torso is kind of a big deal. And he will be taken out with one more shot to the rear. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we made up for one kill. Still have two dead on our side. Ugh, that's actually not that good. But let's see what we can make happen here. Um, let's go for Delta into the basement. Let's see. Is he running? No, he's pre preparing to fight. Therefore, I'm just jump shotting. Sorry for the team damage, but that was important. I needed to get back to cover here. 
So let's kill him really quick. Good. Uh, push out Echo 4. Right side. Let's go. We need to play as a team right now. Oh, let's see if we can make that happen here. Yeah. There's already a, a little guy coming in. I want to shoot my UAV up. Alpha, Alpha, Alpha. That was an AC-20. Oh no, two AC-10. Okay. So let's get out of here. Preserve the firepower in the arm. And try to shoot at Nightshire. If we can. Okay, he's dead already. So the Vindicator is my next target. Oh no, actually, let's shoot the legs of the Cicada. And I need to get out of here. Ooh, not good. Where's the team? Okay, let's try to run. Ah! Again, obstruct my movement a bit. So that the enemy can't focus on me. And then I'm getting out again. Oh, we're actually pretty fine, so it seems. What the hell? We totally turned it around. I was so scared here. Wow. Alright. And let's get in again. Uh, we have some support on the right flank there. And the enemy is pushed back. Ow. Okay, the right arm is gone, and they are being aggressive, which I really appreciate. You should play it that way. In such a situation, you need to push. So the enemy is doing the right thing here. Okay, still got the large pulses, which is good, and now we're just going in and killing everybody. No? Are we? Yes? Please? Yeah, let's kill the Atlas and then just go from there. Okay, right side, Echo 3. I like when the team is playing accordingly. So when the big ones are going forward, when the small ones are going to support fire. I hope that he's not focusing me though. Can we get him? Oh, he overheated. Alright. So two enemies left and uh, five of us still alive. I think that's already in the back. And as you can see, it's it's nice. You, you play that laser vomit, you play that large pulse, medium laser combination. And you can sustain it, kind of. Problem is that the mediums are in the arms, so when you lose them, you lose a significant um, amount of firepower. That's always an issue, but you still have the large pulses in the torso, left and right. And when you keep them alive, then you are fine. So the question is, where is the last enemy? Hmm. Either it's a light mech skirmishing around, or it's a disconnect. Yeah, it's a light. All right. He is on top. It's Jenna. No weapons anymore. He's getting destroyed. When he drops, I can maybe get him, but no. Yeah, my guys are taking care of him. Good job, everybody. That was really nice. That was a good game. So let's have a look at the end screen. Come on, end screen. Where are you? There we go, 818 damage, got 26 team damage, not so good, but anyway, one killing blow, seven assists, four kilos damage dealt, and three components destroyed. And again, playing it aggressive was the right call here, we got some very, very important early kills, and that, that won us the game, basically. Yeah, let's go over to the next game and see how this will go down. Alright, we are playing Domination on the Grim Plexus, and this time we need to be a bit more careful because we don't have that that good escape path here. HPG Manifold is of course a map where you've got a lot of cover, where you, where you can just uh, play some hit and run tactics, get in, fire laser vomit and get out again. And when the enemy is retreat retreating, just stay on their ass and shoot him, just like I did with the Cataphract there. But this is different. This is an open map, we are playing Domination, we need to stay in one spot, or at least close to the circle. We probably have a lot of long-range stuff on the other side of the map and we need to avoid that for the first phase of the game. So I am just taking cover as much as it bugs me, but I can't just go in like that, like in the last game. I actually need some fire support from the assaults. Uh, we need a good brawl situation or we are just sticking uh, as, as a nice air damage amplifier to the assault max. We have a nice range of about 300 meters with everything, so we can do that. And of course, we could shoot our large pulses from even longer range. So, what is that? That is a gargoyle, timber wolf, grasshopper, mauler, awesome. That does not look like big pushing potential. So, I really hope that we can soften up the enemy 
uh, from long range a lot. Until we need to get close. And we need to get close because the circle is the thing we should defend. The one team that is aggressive and gets into the circle and can push out the other team wins the game. It's just that simple. So when you're just waiting for your team to make something happen and uh, use that spot for the whole game that I'm sitting in right now, then you are doing domination wrong. Lots of LRMs. Uh, you know how to avoid LRMs? Get close. Okay, therefore I'm, uh, I'm going into a forward position here. Getting poked with the laser. So those blocks are pretty good in terms of doing that. What is... He is lagging around the map. <laughs> Did you see that? Did Aki cheetah? Uh, I'm going to kill Charlie. Are you with me? I think Charlie is alone. Uh, actually, he's not. Hellbringer. He's lagged. Let's get him because he is pretty much down. Pop that cool shot. Destroy him really quick. Uh, kill golf, please. Kodiak, Kodiak. So let's try to get behind him. He is so focused at our Timberwolf that we have very easy game just destroying his rear torso. Uh, I should move again. Alright, there we go. Hotel, next Kodiak. Uh, he is overheating so much right now. Wow, that flamer build, it totally destroys things. That gargoyle here. Oh man, gonna keep him alive because he is doing a good job. Oh, you need a good for the Nova. That's too, too much for me alone. However, I can shoot that Arctic Cheetah. Uh, he's dead already. Uh, kill Charlie. Or... You get a PPC close. You should be me from the right side of the position. Okay, I'm just using my large pulses now. Or it is on the upper mounts. Uh, I think There's we can be very much aggressive. That's in Golf 7, Golf 6, probably circling around. Yeah, nice, I got a kill here. And that's an awesome game. And again, I like it aggressive. That's so cool. I like it that way. It's so fun to play. I hope that the Hunchback is not doing too much damage and that I can take him out really quick. Please don't stop. Can I get his side torso? That would be awesome. Good. I overheat it, uh, but the enemy is on the retreat. So not a big deal. Let's override, keep the damage going. Put up the UAV. Gives, gives me some Siebels and experience. And of course I'm using the big ones as my meat shield here. Uh, come back again. Don't want to block him. He's dead already. Yeah, it should be fine. And again, uh, as I predicted before, when you play it aggressive, then the enemy will be pushed out of the circle and they are totally missing up on their objective here. Can we get the kill on him? No, we can't. Good. Cooling down again. And we keep the damage going. Just a side torso of that. And I'm hot again. Okay, I think this should be the last enemy. Tokyo boy. Press R. Okay, let's go for it. Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> All right. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. It's just one enemy alive. I just wanted that kill so bad. I just wanted it so bad and we totally got it. <laughs> Good job, team. That was nice. That was a really nice push. Much appreciated. Thanks for the game. Have a GG. All right, 893 damage. I got two kills, seven assists, two kills damage dead, and five components destroyed this time. I like Sparky. Sparky is fun to play. It's a very nice laser vomit, and it's very cool to play. Yeah, that was your daily dose for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There's a link to my Patreon page there. You can support me with a bit of money and keep me going. And I hope to see you on the battlefield, everybody. Goodbye.